Revelio. This looks intriguing. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. It's all finished. <laughs> These rocks have seen better days. Wonders if one's life is indeed. They don't seem to care for me in Hogsmeade. Can't say I blame them, what with all I've done there. Oh, no, Petrificus Totalis! Had enough? You've made a great little thing. Protagon! Petrificus Totalis! The darkness will spread us all you are! See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Levioso. Accio. Yeah. <laughs> 
must have been quite stately in his time. is simply too many. Descendo! Levioso! Leviosa. Leviosa. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Rebellion.
Revelio. That wasn't so difficult. Who lived here? Ringo himself would be proud. Yeah. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terrible. I take it you're ready to learn. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, 
Let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombada! Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Bombarda! Excellent. You have it well in hand. Bring them. Handy resource indeed, your field. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium... Ominous is right. Meddling in the dark arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. 
Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus curse, also known as the torture curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. You are here. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Challenge that. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. Revelio. <sighs> My husband. 
Alohomora. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What can I help you with today? What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Revelio. Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. with that wolf pack. We should look around. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? 
He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Hollow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Rebellion! in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio? Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. They have Archie. Be on your guard. There can be no mistake. Hush now. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be Castotalus. Bring the lad back here. Kill him if he's done with it. 
Simple as that. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Oh. Revelio. saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release him. This is the sort of thing... Oh, Mr. Dallas. Rebellion. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Aloha, Mora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back.
Archie, you're here! Oh, oh, you're safe. Mother? Oh, Mother? Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as... to everyone in Lower Hogsfield. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me.
Revelio. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. So this is the underground harbour.
Revelio. I pressed Ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. My efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. My siblings and I are all at Hogwarts together. Our poor mother doesn't know what to do with her time. She sends us each new gun for every week. Nothing better than a few slices of butter beer and a pile of mince pies with my sister and my sister. I haven't met any of my cousins. Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio. Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch?
The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organised competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artefacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the quaffle. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The Wizards' Council. That's correct! The Wizards' Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The Peruvian Vipertooth. Brilliant! Though the Vipertooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right! It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A demi guys. Yes! While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a Letherfold? The Patronus charm. Well done! The only known survivor of a Letherfold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Evangeline Orpington. That's incorrect. The answer I was looking for was Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct! In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormian's Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? The rune spore. That's right! According to Parcel Mouths, each of the rune spore's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Mount Greylock. Well done! The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Amatentia. That's the answer. Amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive such as dusty book covers, or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. Give me your worst. 
Wonderful. I do admire your thirst for knowledge. Emmerich the Evil was killed in a duel against whom? Egbert the Egregious. That's right. Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages when he was the master of the Elder Wand. If a chaser keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? Have a sacking. That's right. Blatching is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Bad luck. Correct. Native to the European coastline, the effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stink sap? Mimbalus mimbletonia. Correct. The Mimbalus mimbletonia plant secretes stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The pepper up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? Linford of Stinchcombe. Very good. Centuries later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Linford's previous work to create the pepper up potion we know today. In The Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the elder wizard leave for his son in the hopping pot? A single slipper. That's correct. The story was created by Beedle the Bard, but there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. The Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? North America. And that's right. The part bird, part reptile, is a distant relative of the Okami and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? Sir Lancelot. No, the answer was Sir Luckless. The three witches in the story are named Asher, Althida, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. The world's largest Kelpie is also known by what other name? The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. The Office of Misinformation has worked diligently to discredit any Muggle evidence of the Kelpie's existence. Who was the first Minister for Magic? Ulick Gamp. Yes. Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. You should be pleased with your performance. Not many students would have done so well. Thank you for humoring me by participating. I had a splendid time. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Revelio. Keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? I heard Professor Weasley Hello, Gareth. transfigured the book with all So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. You don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than Butterbeer. Oh, 
That gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. All of my relatives left. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook.
Revelio. Promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching, although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well... Three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that, three is better than two. Incendio! Expelliarmus! Incendio! That brazier went out on its own. I wonder if it's a clue.
Incendio. Bombarda! <laughs> Let me answer! Akio! Depulsa! Wingardium Leviosa! Revelio! Remember. Three braziers are involved. <laughs> Someone was actually listening. I do that. Occasionally. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Alohomora. Lumos. Revelio may help. Revelio!
Perhaps all three braziers need to be lit at the same time. Revelio. Revelio. Confringo. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorites. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. That's a locked door. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Your family was here. Repair all. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. Must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. <laughs> Lumos, the door we came from, it closed, and there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Lumos. Lumos. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. This is looking rather dire, isn't it? You sound surprised. We're in a maze designed by Salazar Slytherin. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Confringo!
All the gates have symbols, and there are symbols on the dial. Lumos. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. gate and the symbols again. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each course. May not be obvious which leads to Lumos. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Lumos. Keep going. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos! I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Uh, the gate! I think we're locked in. Again! <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going Lumos. to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? 
He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio. Hold on as long as you can. Ready? I'm ready. to make it stop, <laughs> but I'll survive. <laughs> Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. 
I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, Revelio has made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But Mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matibilaland, Father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. 
She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>